Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I did not expect to be talking to you uh, this fast after my surgery. I had a video scheduled for today, as well as about 20 more videos that I will be playing as time goes on. Um, and I did not expect to be able to even sit at my console. I expected to be in this sling that they gave me uh, for the next, I, you know, I read anywhere from three days to 20 weeks, depending upon what kind of surgery, you know, this, this thing was just wrapped around me today. Uh, I had my surgery yesterday. And um, I went to the doctor today to get the pain pump removed. Uh, it was like a bag of morphine that was sitting taped to my shoulder, and and you know I was I there was oxycodone prescribed for me, which I haven't had to use. Um, there was all of these PDFs that I read ahead of time of this surgery. What I had was arthroscopic sh shoulder surgery in this shoulder, and. Uh, it, it was scary. It was, it was like, you're not going to be able to move for weeks or months. You're not going to be able to lift anything. The tendon, they repaired a, a, what turned out to be a slightly shredded tendon, you know, nicked, uh, but not broken, uh, and moving a, a bone spur. And, um, I was, I was ready for the worst. I really was. And, you know, I went, you know, went through the day yesterday after the surgery and they had a pain block put into me. So I couldn't feel anything. Couldn't feel my, my whole arm was numb. I couldn't feel anything. Went to sleep last night, had a little bit of trouble sleeping, but it was because of, you know, again, some, uh, I had set up a wedge in my bed so that I didn't have to lay flat. And it turned out that it was less comfortable than just laying down flat with this this, you know, this thing on, this sling on. And, and so anyway, the point is I had a great night's sleep, went to my doctor today for the day after removal of the pain pump. And he said, yeah, you're, you're looking great. Uh, show me how high you can raise your arm. And I could feel my arm at that point now. So I raised it to about here, which is where I can raise it now. I can't raise it above that. Um, but he said, you know, do your, your, your shoulder exercise. I didn't think I would be able to move. I didn't think I would be allowed to move for weeks, but I can type and I can do all these things the day after the surgery. This is crazy. I had prepared 21 days in advance on these videos, for example, and I had, uh, you know, canceled all of my, uh, my scheduled appointments and put people off for coaching and for uh, you know, demo production and, and privates and things like that. I'd gotten somebody to cover for me for the, uh, the pro connect live and, and moved my, my live session, which was to be next Tuesday to earlier this week, uh, because I just wanted to be sure I didn't want to disappoint anybody. And what it turns out is there are certain levels. There are multiple levels of the things that can happen to you and I thought I was going to be in that sling forever. Here, here, let me, I'm not, don't get crazy. I'm not, but I just wanted to show you what my shoulder looks like. I have a couple of marks from when they did the surgery and I have a couple of band-aids. I have three little tiny, teeny tiny holes in my shoulder that, you know, I have to be careful of. I'm not going to be able to shower for another day or so, but when I do, I'm going to have to use waterproof bandages. My point is, I read and got ready for something that was a lot worse than what they found. When they got in there, they found that the bone spur was nice and big, but that it hadn't really torn uh, the the rotator cuff as much as they'd thought. Uh, it was a pretty, um, you know, gnarly bone spur, but it wasn't as bad as they thought it was going to be. So I've got this, I've got this wonderful gift of, you know, not you know, I had a day of tenderness and it's going to be tender for a long time to come. Uh, but I start physical therapy tomorrow. What? Yeah. You know, I'm actually starting it today because he gave me some exercises to do with my shoulder that are very, very easy on the shoulder. Um, but I was really surprised, you know, you can wear the sling if it makes you feel more comfortable, but you don't have to, uh, you can even sleep on the shoulder, but probably not a good idea for the first few weeks because it can be painful. Um, still haven't had to take any of the oxycodone, uh, just taking some Tylenol. I, oh, I, I read that I shouldn't take anything with acetaminophen in it because it's a blood thinner. 
And he goes, oh, yeah, that's if you if we have to repair the tendon and you don't want it to, you know, slow down the healing. But, yeah, you can have if you like a leave rather than Tylenol, go for it. I, I, I'm just. I'm really thankful. And I'll tell you another thing I'm thankful for. There is a very good chance that you have sent me. Uh, get well wishes. Because. Dozens and dozens and dozens of people have either text or email or or phone calls or, you know, messages in comments. It's It's been like, thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea what a difference it makes. Or maybe you do know what a difference it makes. I mean, I had imagined spending this week watching a lot of television that I had uh, on my DVR. And um, I'm also doing a, a, a really quick pre-launch of Vio to Gogo 2020. Uh, you may have seen the video where Michelle took my mind off something and I just really quickly put together something that I could kind of manage this week with the with the free time that I had. And just to summarize real quickly, I'm offering a four-month payment plan rather than the whole $24.95, which is our launch price for uh, Vio to Gogo. We have a week where we register people and we drop the price by $500 for the full-on, full-bore Vio to Gogo program. The pro uh, curriculum for 2020, we're launching in September. And I thought, well, maybe I can give people an opportunity to make four equal payments of that. No interest, no fees. Uh, and if you want to check that out, it's vo2gogo.com slash 2020. But I thought, okay, I could manage that. I can answer questions I get by pecking with one hand. And for the first day, that's what I did. You know, but then I didn't have pain overnight. I didn't have pain this morning. I don't have pain now. Uh, you know, it's a little sore, but it's like the soreness that you get after you've overexercised or whatever. And yeah, I can't raise my arm as high as I will be able to, but it's 24 hours, literally 24 hours after I was released uh, from the clinic, from the surgery. I mean, it's amazing. It's just amazing. And there are one, two, three tiny, little tiny holes in my shoulder. I I'm just amazed. And I just wanted to share it with you. I thank you so much for your kindness and your well wishes and uh, for your encouragement. Um, many of you have sent me, a few of you sent me uh, meditations. Uh, Karen Eileen Gordon, who's a Reiki, Reiki healer, she sent me Reiki good thoughts and, and power. And, you know, I don't, I don't understand any of that, but clearly something happened because I didn't do this on my own. So how am I feeling? I'm gobsmacked. I'm amazed. I'm spectacular. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited about the next part of this journey and getting back the use of my arm. I, I joked with my, my surgeon. I said, so I'm going to be able to still throw that sinking fastball, right? And he goes, yeah. Did, were you able to before? I'm like, no. <laughs> it's like, well, we'll do what we can. Um, but anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you. I rescheduled the video that was going to come out tonight for the end of the videos that I've um, uh, set up for you. Uh, and if something pops up for me, I'll jump in and do a, a video. But there's some great stuff coming. I want to thank you so much. Please leave me a comment. Just, you know, if you've ever been surprised by something really spectacular that you didn't expect. I imagine it's happened a lot of times, but I'd love to know. Um, and, you know, I, I'd just like to thank you. Just thank you for your support. It's been great. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click on my head there. If there's no head, there's a subscribe button somewhere below this video. And if you want to see the latest video I've done, go ahead and click on that frame and YouTube will play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, 17th, feeling gobsmacked, and I will chat with you tomorrow.